Hey guys, it's Bethany, and I thought it would be a great idea to tell you my best story from high school. I was in grade 11. It was like the most iconic moment, yet like scariest moment could have easily ended up in the ER. I've never told this story online, but I've told it so much in person, and oftentimes people are like, thanks for telling me, because I didn't know that was a hazard. So I'm gonna tell it, it's pretty short, but it's very interesting, so let's get started. When I was in grade 11, I was in foods class at school, and in this class, it's as you expect, some projects, but mostly you're cooking food in class. So for the last day of class, our teacher said, hey guys, you can do whatever you want. You can cook whatever you want, free cook. And so my partner and I, who were working together, were like, we should deep fry food because we've never done that before. Let's just like do something ambitious. So our teacher agreed, we got permission. It was all good. So we were gonna do edible cookie dough. That's what I was gonna prepare. And then my partner was gonna bring Oreos because that's a thing. Like people eat deep fried Oreos at like amusement parks and fairs and stuff. So we go home, we prepare, and we meet up for this free cook. And my partner like is pulling his stuff out of the bag, right? He pulls out the Oreos and then he pulls out like this like massive chocolate bar, like this big, right? It's like, it's unnecessarily huge. And I'm like, we're not deep frying chocolate, are we? I mean, like we could try, but like that wasn't the plan. So I don't really know. And he's like, oh, I thought we could just like do some chocolate dipped Oreos. And I'm just like, Okay, I mean, sugar on sugar, that's not really cooking, but like, let's, <laughs> let's do it. So every group gets their own stove. So we had our own stove, like four elements. We had like three elements with something on it. So one of them was the chocolate that was melting. And then another one was the plate that we were putting like the Oreos and like all the final food on. And then another element had um, like our oil that we're deep frying things in, right? So my partner, he was like taking this like massive chocolate bar and he was like chopping it up. He's doing that and I'm like at the corner of the stove with this like deep frying stuff going on because you cannot leave that stuff unattended. You gotta like be working at it. And then something in the room starts to smell really, really bad. And when you're cooking, your first question is, am I burning the food? <laughs> and so we're looking and we're like, none of this is burning and like everyone around us I'm pretty sure hadn't even like turned on their stove yet so like it could only really be us if it was the food and nothing was burning so it was weird it didn't even smell like food it was a weird smell so we asked to open the window because at our school at the time we had construction going on like right outside of this classroom and you know construction workers they like to smoke so I thought maybe that's what it is so we closed the window and the smell over 10 minutes just like gets worse and so we're like okay like I don't know what's going on like our food looks great like nothing is burning and so I'm still here at the stove mixing things around and all of a sudden there is an explosion now the plate that was next to me it like it shattered and it flew okay and like everyone in the room is like oh what just happened so we're like in shock my teacher was in there and he was like I don't even know what happened but like let's clean this up broken glass right and while we're doing this we realize that we had turned on the element that had the plate on it and not the element that was melting the chocolate. So no wonder our chocolate wasn't melting and no wonder how the smell didn't really smell like burning food. We were actually heating up a plate for 10 minutes, more, more than 10 minutes, like 15 minutes when you add it all up. And like, dude, I could have gotten sliced with like a hot plate. And to be honest, like I had no idea that you couldn't even put glass like on an element and it was like my friend in the end like he admitted it and I'm not here to blame him because honestly it was kind of worth the experience because I learned that you should never put a plate glass anything on a stove element even if like just to take the extra mile even if you're not gonna turn on the element just like putting it near that heat is not okay like you can put glass in the microwave that's fine you cannot put glass on the stove. And a lot of people, when I was telling this story, especially back in grade 11, they were like, I had no idea. So thank you for telling me because this is a thing that could very commonly happen. So if you ever start to smell something when you're cooking and it doesn't seem to be your food, be sure that there's no glass, no plates or cups or anything on your stove. I'm really lucky by the grace of God because like if that plate had hit me, like think, it's it was a full plate and then it just exploded. So it's coming like, full force it totally could have like hit me in my arm just got straight in there in my chest like honestly it could have come really badly so um i'm very blessed i want to say it was worth it because no one got hurt but i don't know maybe i just had to learn the hard way so yeah that's my first story time on this channel i'm pretty sure and i have more so maybe i'll do more in the future and if there's anything else you want to see from me just comment it below and i'll see you guys in my next video bye